Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Peters module 1 that is Python for Data Science assignment number 13 and the topic is data wrangling. So to get the idea of this data wrangling, I highly suggest you to go through guided project so which is available on the alma better itself there you have to go through the guided project in the guided project you can learn all this stuff so in the guided project you are going to solve the problems there will be questions right you are going to solve them so if you just run this collab notebook you are going to get errors so so I, I highly suggest you to go through the guided project there you can learn many more things than just seeing this assignment solution so there you can do a lot more things okay on this topic okay on imdb data set so so let's proceed this video problem one which actor has acted in the most number of movies deep dive into the movies genre and profits according to the so, sorry corresponding to this actor so first i'm just going to import pandas numpy then i'm just mounting my drive after that i'm loading my data set as you can see the data set now here what we are going to do we are just going to do we are going to get the profit so profit means revenue minus the budget so we got profit so this is what what it is then we got new cast new genre so here we use here we used literal eval so to get the idea of literal eval so you have to watch the class and you have to go through the guided project so by using literal literal eval i got new cast new genre all these things so here you can see new cast new genre so what this function does means so here here you can see we are having a list underneath we are having a dictionary then we are having values right so we are just going to get these values with the only one single list here also in your genre also in new cast also then here what we are going to do we are just going to use values underscore counts to get the actors with the number of movies most number of movies so we got these three actors after that so with the help of these three actors i'm going to get the new genre mean profit then top three directors prefer which actors so here also i'm using literal eval then this is a function underneath we are having a if statement underneath we are having another while loop again we are having if and else statement so all this code at the end we got director name the popularity so you can just go through this code then here you can see here we are getting the top three directors preferred actors so we are getting the actors these actors preferred by top one director top two director and top three directors then problem three so don't run this thing for this thing you need to get so make a table of all the producers and directors of each movie find the top three producers who have produced movies with the highest or average ROI so if you just run this thing you'll be getting error so this is just for explanatory purpose here also don't run this thing before running this thing what you have to do you have to find the ROI return of investment so after getting the return of investment so to get the return of investment you have to go through that guided project there you can get this thing 
then you just have to get that thing then you can load the data data frame new data frame then you can see new data frame is having this roi which is a, which is a type of float then you can use this thing here you can see make a table of three make a table of all the producers and directors of each movie find the top three producers who have produced with the movies with the highest or return of investment so the producers who got the highest profit like that so here also we are using a function we defined a function then we are using try and expect then after that we are just getting the things from crew we are getting the pro producers and directors after that we are using this lambda thing here you can see after doing all those things we got producers directors so now here you can see we got all these three things extra <laughs> yes then we went through this thing to get the average ROI average return of investment we got the producers uh, this is a list of producers and this is the average ROI return of investment Michael White so these things okay uh, so just don't depend on only one thing you have to do your thorough research I suggest you to do your research and don't blame me yeah if you get any errors don't blame me I'm just saying you simply don't blame me okay to get um, telling you now only you you'll be getting error if you just run this thing like this only uh, till this you won't get any error for problem 3 first you have to find the ROI then then you can run this thing okay here you just create your code to find ROI you can just get that code from Garrett project and that's it for now meet you in the next video till then bye bye see you later